In this video, I am going to show you how to plan activities in Odoo 13. This is one of the best features in Odoo 13. With the help of this feature, now we can easily add the activities to do and the Odoo will remind us about the activities to do. Usually in offices, uh, they use sticky notes to remember the activities. Uh, we can usually see in the offices, there are loads of sticky notes uh, like uh, Submit document before 5 etc. And uh, it often looks messy. That's where the Odoo come into the play. This is one of the coolest and smartest feature in Odoo 13. Let's see the working of this feature. I'm just taking CRM opportunities uh, for example. We can do this for sales orders, project tasks etc. Let's create a new opportunity. This is the new opportunity. Okay, here we can see the option to schedule activity. Here we can give the activity types like uh, which activity you want to schedule, like email, call, meeting, etc. Or else in the opportunity here we have an option directly we can schedule an activity okay let's schedule an activity for this new opportunity email here we can see the due date or uh, the plan date for this email and uh, assign to we can even assign to another employee if you want we can give a short summary can even write a very lengthy description for this email now we can schedule this here we can see in the activities lead of opportunity for activities to do today you can see the activities here we can see Here is that activity. We can also see the activity type as email. Okay. Mm. I've done. Then we can close this as our market has done. So it's gone. So here we can see only three are left. That's why we can add any number of activities and also even we can assign this activity to another employee we can remove uh, my opportunities filter and uh, it is on, on record of the mock demo so we can add one more activities like make a quote Okay, we can make it to future. And assign to mark demo. Video. I log in as mark demo to see the activities of mark demo. Here in lead an opportunity, uh, we can see three late, one today and two for future. You can see the future activities. Here we can see the activity that we are assigned, which is due in four days. We are back in Michelle Admin login. So we can not only do this in opportunities, we can do for this any records. Like we can see. We can do this for leads also.
we can do this for any sale order so we can see schedule activity even we can see the time of time allocation or journal entries applicant any record you can see over here if it is scheduled also the meetings we can even schedule the meetings the meetings will be shown here let's go back to the mark demos login and uh, schedule a meeting okay let's take this order in example okay let's schedule a meeting discuss order to schedule a meeting we need to open calendar uh we can schedule it for okay today after requirements review you can see the summary discuss order create the meeting is created and here we can see today's meeting 6:30 pm discuss order you can easily create meetings like this and uh, schedule the meetings so we won't forget the meetings so simple as that okay let's go to the initial admin login we can not only create uh, some specific activity types like email uh, meetings etc we can also create new activity types uh, of your own so we can see the activity types here we can see this so many activity types uh, we often use the email meeting etc and if you want a new activity types you can even create a new activity type you can give the activity type name i'm simply giving as test type or you can give whatever you want or uh, here we can see a field called action to perform uh, with the help of this field uh, you can see so many values for this field like upload document meeting etc if you click on upload document uh, then it will request to upload any document and after the upload document uh, the activities will be marked as then i will show you a demo of this and also uh, the meetings we already seen in meetings like uh, we need to open calendar and create a new meetings in the calendar and we can give any other type reminder form called tax report etc and if you don't want to select any action to perform you can simply give that none here we have a field called default user we can select the users if you want so that if you select this activity type the user will be selected automatically and also like that we can give the default summary also we can plan the activities like uh, the day we can plan the due date select the days four days after the previous uh, deadline or the activity validation date so that if we create one activity today the due date will be activated four days ahead also we have a field called trigger next activity so that after this activity type uh, after this activity is marked as done the next activity will be scheduled like uh, we can select any activities or also if we select the default next activity it will um, go to this activity so if you want to schedule you can schedule or else uh, you can avoid it and also we can add uh, some recommended activities so that uh, after this activity you marked as done it will show these activities recommended above also we can add the email templates for this uh, other than the default user and default summary we also have a default description field
Okay, let me do this. Okay, scheduled day is four days after the validation date. Oh, I'm not giving trigger next activity. Let's go to the pipeline and schedule the activity type. This is the test that we created. You can see the due date. It's 24. Since we don't give any uh, default summary or uh, default description, it didn't show anyone. We can schedule here we can see the activity type test type file upload since this is in the future we can see it is in green color now we can upload any document document upload the status of the activity changed to done that's about the file upload and uh, of course uh, about the color of, color of the activity you can see here marked as uh, green yellow and red uh, the green is indicated as the future and the yellow is for today's red is overdue and that's all about the planning activities in Odoo this feature will surely help you to manage all your activities and uh, you can totally avoid the messy sticky notes. And that's all for this video and thank you for watching. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.